So there's some big changes coming to the Toyota lineup today at the Chicago Auto Show. Um, Toyota's already released some of that information. Hard to say whether there's gonna be any new information at the auto show, uh, but specifically, we're gonna see a number of changes to the TRD Pro lineup, the addition of a new member of the family, and a number of changes to the 2020 Tacoma. Now, the last couple of videos that I've posted um, have speculated a little bit on some of the changes that are coming. I've been a little bit hit and miss uh, with my speculation, mostly miss. Um, I did get the prediction correct on the new TRD Pro member of the family. That is going to be a new TRD Pro Sequoia. Makes a lot of sense for Toyota to add this vehicle to the lineup since they've already got the TRD uh, Tundra and those are really basically the same vehicle mechanically speaking. Uh, pretty easy for them to take uh, those same changes that they made to the TRD Pro Tundra model carry that over to the Sequoia. Uh, from a business standpoint, it makes a lot of sense. And so that's gonna be the new member of the TRD Pro family. Um, on top of that, there are a number of other changes coming to the TRD Pro lineup. Um, starting with the uh, Tundra, they are going to be upgrading the uh, infotainment screen to an eight inch screen. Uh, across the whole uh, TRD Pro lineup, they're gonna be adding connectivity to Android Auto, uh, Apple CarPlay, and Amazon Alexa. Um, so that's one of the big changes coming. Uh, the other big change to the Tundra model is that previously it was only available in the Crew Max configuration. They're now going to have it available in double cap configuration, which makes a lot of sense. I don't know why it wouldn't have already existed in that form, uh, but that's a good change that they're making uh, to the TRD Pro uh, Tundra model. The other big change coming to the Tundra is that they're gonna be offering the JBL uh, sound system as a uh, standard option. And so that's uh, carrying over that option that's already included on the 4Runner and the Tacoma, including that now on the Tundra, and then it will also be standard on the Sequoia model. The 4Runner is likewise gonna see an upgrade to that touch screen, a new eight inch screen, and then that same connectivity for Apple, Android, and Amazon. Um, and then on top of that, the 4Runner is gonna have two additional USB ports in the it's rear. It's also gonna have a slightly modified grill design. Now we're gonna see quite a few changes coming to the 2020 Tacoma. The first of those, which a lot of people are gonna be excited about, is a new electric driver seat. It's gonna be 10-way power uh, with lumbar support. And so it's gonna give you a lot of ability to adjust the seat to your individual preferences. Um, we're also gonna be seeing some upgrades to the touchscreen uh, across the lineup. In the SR model, they're gonna have a new seven inch touchscreen. And then across the lineup, they're gonna have a new eight inch touchscreen that's gonna have that same Android, Apple CarPlay, and Amazon Alexa system that we're seeing across the TRD Pro lineup. Um, we're also gonna see a number of new grill designs, wheel designs, and some other cosmetic changes. The other two big changes that are coming to the Tacoma is that they've got a new panoramic view monitoring system, which is gonna give you a 360 degree view around the vehicle to help maneuver in tight situations. And then they've also got a multi-terrain system, which gives you a view under the vehicle to uh, see if you have adequate clearance going over objects. Those two systems are gonna be optional um, on some of the different trim packages. Now, starting with the TRD Pro model, on that model, we're gonna see a unique sequential LED headlight and daytime running light, uh, black insert tail lamps, new wheel design, standard panoramic view monitoring, and multi-terrain view monitoring. And then they're also gonna be taking the uh, smart key functionality that we've already got on the driver's side door and transfer that over to the passenger side door. So that'll be a really nice change. Uh, it's unfortunate they're not just taking it to all four doors of the vehicle, um, but at least we're gonna have one on the passenger side uh, to kind of help out as well. We're also gonna see an all new TRD Pro exclusive color of Army Green on the 2020 Tacoma. I think that color option is gonna look really cool. Now on the SR5 model, we're gonna see an updated grille, new 16 inch wheels, darker tail lamp housings, and then we're gonna see an upgraded seat fabric. They're also gonna have an available LED bed lamp and daytime running light headlight option. On the TRD Sport, we're gonna see a new grille, 17 inch wheels, passenger smart key entry, chrome tail lamp inserts, new LED fog lights, an LED daytime running light and headlight that has been updated, and the new LED uh, bed lamp. We're also gonna see a panoramic view monitoring system on the TRD Sport. On the off-road model, we're gonna see a new front grille, LED fog lamp, chrome insert tail lamps, passenger smart key, and then that multi-train monitor. Uh, they didn't mention that the panoramic view monitor is gonna be on the TRD off-road, which seems really odd to me. It seems like on that, that model, you'd wanna see both of those systems. I'm hoping that's a misprint, but we'll see as more details uh, reveal themselves. And lastly, on the limited model, we're gonna see a new grille, 
18 inch wheels, standard LED daytime running lights and headlamps. We're gonna get those same chrome tail lamp inserts and then that smart key uh, entry on the passenger door. On top of that, the unlimited model is gonna come standard with that panoramic view monitoring system. So those are the changes I know of coming so far to the TRD Pro lineup and the 2020 Tacoma. I'm sure that as the Chicago Auto Show progresses, there will be additional developments and more photos to share with you. I'll make sure to keep you guys updated on that. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the section below. For more videos, subscribe to my channel. In the meantime,